Welcome to the Weekly Wrap. I'm Jessica Amir with Bell Direct. Today we're covering the share market performance, what the outperforming listed investments are, and we'll leave you with an economic update and give you plenty of stock ideas along the way. Well, first up, it's been a negative week for the Australian share market, but for some stocks, the road ahead looks bright. Now this week, the Australian volatility index fell from its nine year high down to a seven week low. And that means the market is not seeing those wild swings like we had weeks ago. Now from Monday to Thursday, the ASX 200 and the broader all ordinaries lost 5% while those defensive sectors were more resilient as expected and continue to shine outperforming the market while the real estate sector has been sold down the most as investors are questioning tenants ability to pay their landlords. Now this week the Aussie share market looks like it'll close lower for the first time in five weeks but there's still plenty of green shoots among ASX listed companies. Now let's look at the ASX 200's best performers week to date. Regis Resources RRL is up 11% helped by the rise of the gold price and this all comes despite a ETF fund manager Vanek dropping their major holding in Regis down to 10%. Pinnacle Investment Manager PNI, another star performer, up 10% after three directors took the opportunity to increase their major stake in the investment manager firm. Now, Ordmanet expects Pinnacle or PNI shares to grow by about 70% over the next 12 months. And this month, its shares have already shown strong momentum. They're up 27%. Now, looking at the other side of the market, the worst performers, Southern Cross Media SXL, their shares are down 26% and that erased last week's gains. Now, looking at their monthly performance, they're tracking lower for the third straight month. However, Investors Mutual has taken this as a buying opportunity, becoming a major shareholder this week. But you would think Southern Cross Media will see short term continued downward pressure given 30% of its earnings are from regional TV and many businesses are feeling the pinch and don't want to outlay advertising because of Corona. All in all though, UBS expects Southern Cross Media shares will see a small bounce, particularly following their capital raising. Now NRW NWH this week lost 21% Monday to Thursday day after a fund manager sold down their major holding in the mining contracting firm. Now I've spoken about NRW before because it has low debt to earnings and growing earnings as well and that's what we all want or well, that's what I want. And NRW recently won a $48 million civil contract to upgrade an airport at BHP's Olympic Dam. Now UBS backs NWR expecting earnings to grow in its iron ore and public infrastructure businesses. Now, importantly, NRW has not been materially impacted by COVID-19. All in all, UBS expects NWH's share price to grow from $1.48 to $4. So you can see, despite it being a negative week for the Aussie share market, it really pays to look for opportunities on the leader and loser board. Now let's look at some ETF trends. The largest ETF flows in the month of March were into Australian equities with Vanguard and Spider being the most purchased with investors buying the dip. Now gold has seen the third largest inflows. Many investors are either topping up their defensive exposure or building in diversification into their portfolios. And it makes sense, right? Who doesn't like shiny things and outperformance? And what I mean by that is, the ETF GOLD, for example, which can be purchased on the ASX through Bell Direct, is up 25% this year, while the Aussie share market is down 22%. So given that gold and Aussie equities have an inverse relationship, it really is, a, is important to hold gold in your portfolio to smooth out your overall portfolio performance. So if you don't have gold exposure in your portfolio, now might be the time to start thinking about it. 
Meantime, looking at the best and worst performing ETFs for the month of March, Bishes, Australian Equity Strong Bear Hedge ETF, BBOZ, gained 33% in March. While the worst performing ETF was BetaShares Geared Australian Equity ETF, GEAR, down 47%. And it shows you that speculative investors are either taking a bullish or bearish position on the market. Now, on the economic front, as we've discussed before, global equities have been heavily sold down over the past week and quarter as we're headed for a short and sharp recession. Vanguard says it could be the deepest recession in modern times with the big punch coming in the second quarter of the year. Now, the investment manager reckons social distancing will ease mid-year, and that's when you could expect the economy and global equities to recover. Now, lastly, for a final stock idea, well, following A2 Milk's better than expected third quarter results amid stockpiling pushing their revenue higher, the infant formula business upgraded full year revenue and earnings. Now, full year earnings for A2 Milk are tipped to be 30% higher than last year. I like this stock because it's simple, defensive and growing its earnings. Remember, share price growth follows earnings growth. Now, A2 Milk is backed by Citi as a buy with a price target of $21.50. Now, in closing, remember the economic outlook remains bleak, but there's always green and gold shoots on the ASX. And remember, the great value investor Shelby Davis said, you make most of your money during a bear market, but sometimes you just don't realize it. On that note, I'm Jessica Amir from Bell Direct. Happy trading and stay safe.